Hey YouTube, this is Print Practical. Today, we're going to be designing and printing a turntable that I can use to display 3D prints. Typically, when I design a part for this channel, I print it out and then I walk around it awkwardly while pointing a camera at it to try and get a revolving video of the part and it just comes out subpar. So today we're gonna fix that. I picked up on Amazon just a four DIN uh, AA battery tray along with a potentiometer and a little six volt motor. And we're going to design a turntable that uses all 3D printed parts except for this hardware and maybe some additional screws. All right, so I just soldered it all up. Here's the finished wiring. Uh, we got positive negative, go to this pot, and then there's the, the power lines to the motor. I right, turn it on and it runs. You might not be able to see it. You might be able to hear it, but there you go. So let's go design the rest of the turntable. We'll print out each piece and then we'll start to put it together. Okay, so we have our finished gear system here. Uh, this smaller gear is going to sit on the shaft of the six volt motor. So let me put that there. Um, this bigger gear is where the turntable is going to sit. Um, so I put a threaded hole on the top of this gear and this allows me to switch out what turntable top I have on. Uh, so whether I want to change the color or the size of the top, I should be able to just take one off, put one on. Uh, I have a shaft here, and this is going to be in the top of the turntable case. Um, I'm actually going to use a 3D printed ball bearing that I designed in a previous video. You should go check that out if you wanna see me to design this, but this is a fully print in place uh, ball bearing. So I'm going to use that for this project. And I'm going to seat that on the shaft here. And now my turntable spins freely. And I should be able to turn this motor on and hold it up. And there we go. We've got a fully motorized turntable. So let's draw the top of the turntable. And then um, we can put that together. And then we'll draw the rest of the case and we'll be done. So the turntable top is on printing. Um, it's definitely a little smaller than I wanted it to be, but I was having some issues with my Ender 3 Max, so I had to print it on my Ender 3 V2. Uh, so, you know, it's good that we came up with this threaded design because when I want to have a bigger turntable top, I can just print it on my Ender 3 Max when it's doing better, and it'll thread right on. There we go. Sits nicely, threaded right on. Now we got our turntable top. Let's finish off by designing and printing the case.
so after about 13 hours of printing, we have the case for the turntable. Uh, the motor is going to sit in this little pocket here. The bearing will press in here, and then we're just going to bolt the battery tray somewhere on the, on the top surface here. So let's take a look. We can fish the wires through for the motor. And oh my god, look at that fitment. That is like perfect. Perfect fitment. So we know that part's good. Uh, let's move on to the bearing. Okay, the bearing is seated. Um, so let me put the motor in. And that just seats perfectly in there. Um, okay, uh, next the, we should install the pot in there. That is perfect, and we're gonna mount the battery tray later. Uh, let's just try out the whole thing and see if it works. Um, so let me plug it all in. There we go, we got a working turntable. That is sweet. Okay, so we finished up the underside of the turntable cover. We got the pod in there, taped up some of the wires, and then we got our battery tray mounted in this corner. So it looks good. It functions. Let's just put it together. There we go. And there's our finished turntable. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel to watch more content like this and comment down below if you have any ideas of something you want me to design and print.